This is it. What year is it? It's BMW. Beautiful color. Beautiful rag top. It's a 2003. And let's look for a yeah. moment at the agreement that you signed. I, uh, Tyson, uh, Kano. I, Kano, Tyson Kano, yeah. secured from Linda Leong as the purchase of a 2004 BMW 330Ci with 89,000 miles payment totaling $2,700. Repair work on the car needed. Window. It's a regulator. Actuated two solenoids, transmission fluid, approximately $378. Signed by you, sir, June 20th, 2023. Uh, that's a far cry from the $1,500 that you claim she needed to pay you. Okay, can I mention one thing about sure. this particular contract here? I was pressured into signing this after the fact that we had <laughs> gone through arguments. We had arguments about the vehicle. So after we had discussed repairs and everything, that this was given to me to sign. Are you saying that Miss Leong intimidated you and kind of put pressure on you to sign a document you, you didn't want to sign? You would be surprised. She's not a martial arts expert, but you would actually be surprised. Are, are, are so. you a martial arts uh, expert, uh, Miss Leong? <laughs> I wish I took it. The fact of reality is, is she did give me the 27. You're saying you signed that under duress. Did you know that the repairs were going to be far more than the window? Well, it does say approximately, and the money that I stated that I spent was spent on the transmission. But unless we agree with you that this was signed under duress... It really was signed under... Well, it was well, what, what signed was under the pressure. Duress? What was the pressure? Constant Plain harassment this. when I would come home. I would walk in the front door. She'd be sitting in the living room right by my room. She was just constantly on what me, on me. What do you think the me. motive for this was? I'm not sure. I guess she wanted to get her vehicle, which I agreed upon doing, but I said that I'm not going to release the vehicle until you pay for the repairs that are needed. Did you pressure the defendant with respect to this agreement? There are text messages asking for when is the BMW going to be delivered. There was one occasion I actually went to his used car lot, which is basically a junkyard, and I was there waiting for him by appointment, which we said at 4.30 p.m. that day, and I waited until 8.45 p.m. when it got dark. It's a shady area, so it wasn't safe, and so I went home. When did you give him the $2,700? May 18th. And when was this that you went to the storage area? About a month later. When was he supposed to give you the car? There were at least five text messages from him that he promised to bring the car tomorrow. And then, then tomorrow will be another tomorrow. So you're saying that you suspected that something was amiss and that's why you had him sign this contract? He was stringing me along. Judge Tawalda? I don't understand these invoices, um, Mr. Kano. Can you kind of run through them for me? Sure. Under Exhibit C? <laughs> yeah, so these were parts that were ordered from uh, AutoZone to do the repair on the transmission. You're saying that Ms. Leong was aware of this? She was aware of the of the repairs, and I had told her the cost of the repairs, and I had texted her both of these receipts. The receipts you're talking about for one for 93 Yeah, from AutoZone, correct. And 4626 How much was labor? In total, it was $775. So where's the 1500 that you're saying it took to repair? To be honest with you, I have other receipts, but I couldn't locate them. So I wasn't trying to just upcharge it. I said it was an estimate of around fifteen hundred dollars to. But to you do can only repairs. document seven seventy five. Seven seventy five plus these two, so close to a thousand dollars is is what I have. Because I only see I see a handwritten note. Correct. Basically, of what was done, and then a total here at seven seventy five. You sent this to the plaintiff. On this, I did not send her. I just sent her the two receipts. A hundred. A hundred dollars. Correct. Did she pay that? No. This wasn't the reason why she wasn't getting the BMW, correct? Well, the reason why she wasn't getting the BMW is because I told her that the vehicle did need repairs. I had offered to give her her money back. She didn't want that. She wanted it to be repaired. That is a false statement, Your Honor. For Mr. Kano to claim that I refused to receive my money back, I'm asking for my money back. And I have asked for my money back in text messages. 